Carl, uh, first of all, first time here at the circuit, how you found it? Yeah, good, I like it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty long, is it, is it quite demanding physically, especially with the heat that we've had so far this week? Uh, yeah, with the heat it definitely is, but it's good because there's like long straight, so you get quite a good break. And uh, from, the, from the word go, it's just your first full season in the Euro match, you, you've had the pace, haven't you? I know you had one or two issues in the first round at Genk, but with the drop scores, you're really still in the championship fight. Yeah, it's good. It's took it like a wee minute to get used to the European stuff, but no, I'm into it now. Have you found it different then to racing back home? Mm, yeah, I suppose it is with all the like, grip and that. It's a lot colder back home, so that's took a while to get used to. You were straight on the pace though, weren't you, at Genk? Yeah, Genk was good, but it was more Italy when it got hot. We struggled there, but it's been hot this week and we've been fine, so it should be okay. And the fact that there's six or seven of you that could win it and there's really nothing in the, in the points, does that make it a bit easier because you haven't got to start thinking about drop scores, you've just got to do well this weekend? Uh, I don't know, it's hard because it's tight. It'd be good to get us all in the top three, but just got to see what happens. What's the plan for qualifying on the heat? So, I mean, you're not going to get any points there. You've just got to kind of survive it, haven't you? Yeah, just consistent finishes, start near the front for the pre-final, see what happens. And uh, if one of the championship contenders was to start somewhere further down the, the grid in the pre-final or the final, is it somewhere where you can move forward? Uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose it would give you a bit more confidence because you know that they're behind you. If you could finish in front of them, it would be good for the second final because there's more points up for grabs in the second final. We're not sure what the weather's going to do this weekend. It sounds like there might be a bit of everything, hot, yeah. storms, bit of rain maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to keep you on your toes as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, I don't know, either condition is fine for me. I've been quicking balls, so let's see. Yeah, and uh, I suppose if it does rain, everybody's on the same boat because it hasn't really rained this week, has it? Yeah, exactly. Nobody, nobody's done testing the way that I know of, so I just have to see it all open doors. And uh, just finally, on, on the level of competition here, I know racing back in the, in the UK, you've probably got seven, eight drivers who could win the championship, but here it kind of feels like there's 20 drivers that could all win on their day. Yeah, I don't know. I think the UK is harder. I think it's just getting more used to the European stuff. There's a lot of good drivers in the UK. And the circuits as well, because you had to learn, haven't you? Yeah, I had to learn all the circuits and the front brakes. There's no front brakes back at home, so all that's different. Well, I hope you, uh, hope you have a good weekend, enjoy it, and uh, we'll see where we, are. see where we are on Sunday. Yeah, thank you very much, thanks.